Good morning guys, happy Sunday, and today we are having a bit of a productive day, a bit of a reset day. I figured I would vlog today and share with you guys what we get into. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. So I actually just went and picked up my Spiromal Actone. I think that's how you pronounce it. I always get it wrong. It's my acne medication that I've been on. I've been on it for, I wanna say maybe three months now. I just accidentally took like a week long break because my prescription was up and then I went to Florida, but it, they filled it up here. And I was like, oh, I'm just gonna wait till I go back. So hopefully that doesn't set me back, but it might. But a little skin update is my skin's good. It definitely still has like phases, but I would say overall, it's a lot better. I'm on 25 milligrams. I think you can go up to 100. I'm not looking to go up anytime soon. Last time I was on it, which was like two years ago at this point, I was on either 75 or 100 milligrams and I felt really faint and dizzy. The actual medication, I think it's like, I'm not a doctor obviously, but I think it impacts your like potassium and stuff like that. So I was just like, eh, let's not do that full amount. And I still do think it's working without having like too many crazy side effects. So that's cool. Picked up around here, but still not perfect. I have a bunch of PR, Christmas gifts, just stuff back there, gifts for others. I have Ben's like big, holiday gift that I really just want to give to him early. Do you guys get like this? Like, do you ever want to just like give your family members and friends whatever like their gifts early? Cause you're like, this is literally the perfect gift for you. Like I need to give it to you now. I really, really want to, but I'm like restraining myself. Danielle's coming over in a little bit. We are going to do some practice for the Gals in the Go Live show. It's pretty much done, but we just want to like rehearse and like make sure that it's all together and then work on it some more this week, really clean it up and stuff, but. It's all just so, so exciting, it's coming together. Tomorrow we have a little shoot for that. Yeah, I feel like we were like, yeah, well, let's have a live show. Of course, we gave ourselves plenty of time, but we were like, wait, like a lot goes into this. Like it's not just like us up there like shooting the shit because we did want to have like segments and bits and whatever and have it corresponding with like slides or like imagery and have it be interactive and like, it's just been, you know, it's, it's, so I commend people that are just like out here doing shows and stuff. I guess it might be a little different with like comedians cause you kind of just like go up there with a the mic and like do your thing. But we, it, ours like, you know, we wanted it to be like interactive and fun and holiday. Speaking of holiday, I have no decor up. I feel very like incomplete right now. I don't do a ton normally and all my decor is like pretty neutral. I'm half Jewish, half Catholic if you didn't know in terms of like my mom and dad, but I grew up celebrating Christmas and whatever. We celebrate like to celebrate, not for like, you know, any sort of like religious, it's more just like the holidays. We do Christmas Eve at my house, which is like a bigger Christmas Eve and Ben is coming to that this year, which I'm excited about. He's Jewish, so they do other holidays and stuff. So that is why he's able to come to my Christmas. Where was I going with this? Oh, I have no, I have no decorations because they're all stored in my basement at my parents' house. And I just don't have a day really to, like today would have been the day to go back to Long Island to like pick everything up. But I just was like, I don't really want to do that today. And my dad happens to be coming to the city on Wednesday to help with some moving things, the gals in the go office. So I think Wednesday he's gonna come and bring everything. So it will truly be just up for December, but I'm not complaining because I should be home for most of December. So I will get to enjoy it. I don't love too much decor, like, cause it does get to be like a bit cluttery, especially in a small space, like in an apartment. I think in a house, it's so warm and cozy and like amazing, but in a smaller space apartment, I just feel like things are just kind of like in the way, but I feel like I have some good stuff and hopefully I won't have to buy too much because I have it all like from like in storage from last year and whatever. I feel like I'm not in the holiday spirit yet. Like, I don't know. I just, I haven't, it hasn't like hit me yet that it's like a month away now. I've been like gift shopping and everything, but I just don't feel very like holly jolly, you know? Not in like a bad way, but I guess I was just in Florida and then, you know, the holidays just get earlier and earlier. Like it's, I feel like starting November 1st this year, everyone was like, it's the holidays. And I was like, whoa, wait, when, since when? So I need to slowly get myself there. I did air wrap my hair today. I feel like I didn't do like quite the best job, but like I said, I have a video shoot tomorrow and I'm like, oh, do I have to get my hair done or could I make it work myself? Like if I redo it a little bit, I've been feeling like I can do it myself. Whenever I get it done, I really like the way that it looks. This is just a string of random thoughts. So apologies about that but I do need to contact Danielle, see when she's gonna come over, pick things up around here a little bit. Look at all this that Nars sent. I'm like geeking out right now. It's all in holiday packaging, so I'm like reading in the corner of what it is, but 
I'm shook. This is premium stuff. I just opened this because this is NARS Orgasm Blush. Hello. And then I got all of this stuff from Fenty Beauty, which I'm geeking about too. They have such an amazing foundation. I used to wear it every day for work. Oh my God, throwback. Oh, that used to be like my ride or die. And then like this lip gloss set, just wow, so much beauty. I feel like I'm on like a bunch of like beauty PR lists and I am very happy about it. I am slowly collecting things by the way, because I do think I need to figure out how I'm gonna do it in terms of like where people will enter, but I wanna do some sort of like a holiday giveaway because you guys are probably like, you can't possibly use that much makeup and you would be very correct. So with that being said, keep following along. Maybe I'll do that on Instagram or something. That could be fun. Gals on the Go has one going right now on TikTok for two $250 Visa gift cards. I think that should still be up when this vlog goes up. No, actually that is definitely closed. So apologies about that, but there will be more. I feel like we're always doing giveaways and stuff. So just follow along. Self tanned like two nights ago. Looks really good. I did it actually when I was still in Florida. The room smelled like self tanner, I have to say. This is the self tanner I used. I love it so much. It looks a little more orangey on camera than it actually does. I feel like it, it's like a nice golden tan. Slept in it in Florida. The room, when I woke up in the morning, I like left ran some errands and like went back. And my mom and dad were like, that room smells like self tan. And it really did. I didn't realize how much the smell lingers. Like I feel like I'm just used to it at this point. Like I just am like immune to it almost. Or maybe on yourself, you just don't notice. But it went away after we like opened the window and like burned a candle or whatever. And I feel like I'm getting pretty good at it. Happy with that. Still sipping my coffee from this morning that I made like three hours ago. Is anybody else like this where you just like will make a beverage and like constantly be sipping at it a little bit? It's rare that I like am chugging a full coffee in like two minutes. I did order an espresso in this like Black Friday sale saga, which I'm really excited about. So I'm excited to start making like fun espresso drinks and like showing you guys those in vlogs because I know you guys like the coffee content. And I feel like Nespresso drinks always look so much better than they taste. But my mission this time around, since I have a new machine, is to actually make them tasty. So I don't care if I'm adding syrup or powders or whatever the hell I'm adding, it will taste good and it will taste like Starbucks. Got a little hungry for a snack. I got a few groceries this morning, not many. I really wanted to do like a proper stock up. Maybe we'll go to Trader Joe's tomorrow or something. I was like, oh, I can go today, but now it's down pouring and Danielle's about to come over. So I have mini cucumbers and I have Ithaca hummus, Stacy's. So I figure we could do somewhat of like a snack plate. I thought that could be fun. I was like, let me chop up these cucumbers. We're not gonna eat them whole, you know? I'm trying to think of the most efficient way. I like mini cucumbers a lot. And the hummus is so good. I already cracked into it with some older chips I had before, but I was like, all right, let's wait. And then I'll do a proper plate. Cause I do want to keep going on the, the cooking that I've been doing. Cause you know, it's good. I make a big batch of something. I have it in the fridge. It's very efficient, you know? I think in like these little slices is cute. For the longest time, I feel like in my youth, I used to not really like cucumbers that much. Well, I mean, I, that's normal. Like I feel like your taste buds change over time, whatever. But when I like finally made the association, obviously I was young, that cucumbers and pickles are the same thing basically. Like, I mean, make pickles from cucumbers. I was like, what? Major unlock. It's amazing when you slice something, how much more of it you have. Like when I'm looking at these cucumbers, I'm like, oh, okay, like baby cucumbers. But then I slice them up and I'm like, wow, that's actually like, you know, that's a lot of dips there. Don't judge my cutting, please. I guess while I'm cutting, I might as well just chop them all up because I don't plan on using them for anything else. And then I just have them ready to go and ready to dip, which I feel like future me will appreciate. All right, Danielle's about to be here, like literally any second. We've got the Christmas vibes, trying to get in the spirit. Did actually find this in my drawer. It's my one Christmas decoration so far, it's from Target. I've had it since college. We had our cute little meeting. I totally didn't vlog because we were just in the flow. And then we talked about New Year's, which we have booked, but we didn't really have like planned planned. And we kind of got the finalized plans for that. I'm about to go to Ben's to hang out there. I will continue the vlog into tomorrow because tomorrow will be another fun day. So see you tomorrow. I'm so glad it's a sunnier day today. I just am in immediately a better mood. Coffee, yes. My night was good. I just hung out with Ben. I ordered a few things like last minute yesterday just so I had like the, the hummus and the cucumbers and stuff, but I really have like nothing right now. I think I'm gonna try to make some sort of a cold foam sitch for the coffee today. Like a vanilla cream, but with almond milk. Spagliato. I'm in a silly mood today. We're filming some fun stuff for Gals on the Go. Kind of live show content, but also just like to have, it's, it's good stuff. I'm really excited about it. We haven't done anything like this really ever, so very fun. For some reason, this glass looks dirty, so. We're not gonna use that one. Okay, we'll use this one. I really should go grocery shopping later today, so we'll see. For some reason, getting me to the grocery store in New York is way more frustrating than it should be. I love 
grocery like when i'm actually there it's fine but for some reason like getting me out of the house to go there doesn't sit well with me it's also cyber monday and i'm trying to think if i have like gifts for people that i should be buying because i feel like i do this every year where i miss like the bulk of my gift buying in this little bit of time between black friday and cyber monday and then i end up paying full price when it was on sale like you know last week so i'm like mm, i should probably do that i'm doing two secret santas this year one with like my group of friends that i don't really show online one with youtube friends okay so i just did just so we're clear a little bit of almond milk and then i'm doing a little bit of this vanilla syrup we're gonna say this could be a total flop but i feel like this is like starbucks vanilla sweet cream in a way apparently i accidentally left the cover on this the last time <laughs> i thought that this was the frother but look that is the frother wow you guys were commenting about it and i was like wow i really just did not even think that whoa oh i'm doing another secret santa with like danielle katie and both margos margo Austria and margo lee so i need to get my gift for that get my other gift but like i want to put thought into them and i haven't nothing's like struck me as like a good gift idea yet so i'm like hmm. i just decided that i want to do a splash of almond milk in the actual coffee i was about to sing ice ice baby but then <laughs> it reminded me that i used to have a shirt from delia's that said ice ice baby that store was my shit my bread and butter they were so expensive and i would wear like the hand-me-downs from my cousin emily so thank you emily you're the goat <laughs> she picked out good stuff spagliato it looks like like a beer i feel like i need to let the foam dissolve into it a little bit more also when is my espresso coming i told you guys that it was i think it's on the way let's uh get ready hair and makeup is done I do want the curls to kind of fall a little bit, but I'm, I don't want to brush them out because we're filming all over the streets today. For some reason, the heat isn't on in my building again, so I have a old reliable running space heater. She always gets the job done. I do have to figure out a lip. I want to change, but I'm like waiting to the last possible second because I'm really cozy right now. All right, I have to leave like right now, but the set is so cute. I'm so excited. I love this color. It's from Nadine Marambi. I love it. It's so pretty. It's kind of giving pajamas, but elevated. And then I'm just wearing Reformation white heels. Let's go. Just two girls in their outfits in the Hoka store warming up. Look how cute the outfits are. They're coordinating. Everyone's hooting and hollering at Hooting us. and hollering this fine Monday. And uh, we're warming up in here because we're getting some like shopping shots. But the bags are empty and they keep blowing around. It's kind of funny. We definitely should have put like yeah. something in them, but I forgot. No, I, I have my lip gloss in there because I keep reapplying it. They do have great, great offerings here. I have it's these phenomenal. ones too. They sent me these ones too. little bts in washington square park it's really nice in the sun actually it feels a lot warmer hi guys you said don't talk oh really we're here i'm bundled up i'm like literally robotically frozen right now i don't know what like when you talk to a-l-e-x-a -A, uh -huh. do you say things like short or do you say them long it's like see i would say turn the music off but you just did she do that? that will they do that yeah oh I that's so funny. Things I, I didn't I know, know. You. I would say off, like a dog, like off. I would say A L E X A. What's the weather today? Like I wouldn't just say weather. Like you oh, I would say, oh, yeah, okay. I would say that. Have you ever been around your parents when they do it? My mom's like, can you please raise the volume? No, like, and they oh, never, it never picks stop. up. Stop. Like yeah. my dad's like, hey, what's up? Like let's get this start. I'm like, no. Yeah. Like, you know, <laughs> basic command and then they get frustrated they're like oh it's just not working yes. it's so stupid and what a fun day we had. we had such a fun day i can't wait for you guys to see it she's sending me home i have to show you this because i only packed heels and they're like strappy open heels it's chilly out there and now. it's cold out there now we're wearing these these are from amazon i can link it below they're, they're very cute and inexpensive too wow, it was like 20 bucks yeah i think just Love. about under 30 at least my coat is street crew but <laughs> and i was wearing these barefoot dreams fuzzy socks and i was like i don't want to take them off so <laughs> Danielle's lending me these shoes to wear home. Thank you I so wish much. I had more slippers to give you, but unfortunately, no, no, I'm this is these. good. Oh, and you can't forget. Oh, and I was wearing my also Amazon earmuffs. I haven't been tan, but I should probably get white because they that probably goes with more. These are a little too big. I wish I got a size down. They look like they have sizes. I don't know. These just like I feel like they're too big. I mean, earmuffs are just like that. I guess. I think mine are a little bit less puffy. Maybe that's oh, what maybe it is. But it. they're definitely the same like surface area. So cute with your hair. <laughs> 
for stopping right around my thoughts, almost five. It was great though. We walked all around. You guys saw the clips. Uh, people were stopping us because we yes. were. You don't realize how neutral people dress until you take a look around. Like we were on a corner and I was like, everyone's wearing black or gray. Like yeah, or like military green. Yes, like, you're so right. And then so we were right. literally like, standing out in so our hard. Bright purple and pink. But Adam, who did our video, he was like, it's great because- like, like find us in the crowd. Yeah, and even if there's other people in the shot, it's like clear who was in it. That's true. Yeah. It's like so fine. Mm -hmm. But people kept stopping us and were like asking for a photo and stuff because I think they thought that we were more important than we are. Yeah, we were like, oh, it's fine. Yes. You don't want it. It was like moms. They're like, can you, this one mom was like, can you guys be in my Be Real? <laughs> Like, I didn't even know if, like, that reached the mom crowd I did not yet. know. I don't use Be Real anymore. I used it for, like, two days. Like, I, was, like, I use it, online. like, every other week. If I just want to <laughs> see what other people are up to. And just check in. Do yeah. Because my friends, like, don't post stories. The private story is dead. So that's all. What else are we doing this week? Oh, we have calls. We have things. Meetings. We, we see. have a fun dinner on Wednesday. We have a fun event on Thursday. We have such good stuff lined up this week. When is this vlog ending? Will they see that yet? Or no, that'll be the next spoil? vlog. No, I won't Just spoil. Don't spoil. You gotta watch the next vlog, you guys. This feels in the Christmas spirit. I am getting my tree Wednesday, so. Oh, it looks so, so good. good. I like it because, like, I love seeing people's trees from, like, their Oh, window. It's so good. Cool. As someone across the way, I can see their tree, and it's like, Oh, the magic of the city. And the trees for sale on the street is getting me in the mood. I, I saw say. your story and I was like, oh my gosh, there's one around here too. And I was like, oh, that makes me just so, you can smell it when you're walking yeah, around. You're like, oh, great. I'll have a wreath, please. I saw like people walking down the road, like carrying them. Oh, like, it's, it's very so, like, cute. Christmas. Yeah, it is very Christmas in the city. I think I'm going to get some soup for dinner. The All right. Well, thank you guys for joining us for this fireside chat. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you when I get home. Hi, I'm still defrosting. I legit got home and ordered Uber Eats as I was on my way. I got ramen Ishida, which I've actually had before. It's in the Lower East Side. Great spot, great ramen. A little food haul, edamame. I was so cold. I was like, I simply need ramen right now. I'm actually so cold, like my hands are so cold. For some reason, this heater's not working, so I have my space heater going, but my bedroom heater's working. I need to take like a piping hot shower. I just like, you know when you're just like cold? It's almost like I was skiing or something, but I wasn't. But I think that my body just was like cold all day. So it's just like hating me now. Hopefully I don't get sick. I never used to believe that saying. I feel like people like that was like a, like a, almost like an old wives tale. It was like, oh, like if you go out in the cold, you're gonna get sick. But like, no, like it's actually true. I feel like my parents used to tell me that like bundle up so you don't get sick. And I'd be like, shut up. But I have this thing, I posted a TikTok about it, about like the frontal lobe developing. Lessons that my parents used to preach at me that I used to be like, shut up, like you don't know anything. But now that I'm 25, like I'm like, mm, that actually makes sense. My mom and dad would always say like these corny quotes when I was growing up. Stuff about like, you know, don't care about what others think and whatever. And I'd be like, that is so corny, whatever. But at the same time, now here I am and I'm like, actually it's so true. Maybe I just got older and started like, you know, appreciating them more. I don't know. This is it, veggie ramen. This literally looks fake. It looks like slime. Oh, I just love this so much for us. Oh, and I'm gonna watch the new season of White Lotus. I haven't even started, but I've heard amazing things. I really wanted to grocery shop today. Sorry guys. I thought that I would be able to fit a Trader Joe's haul in this video, but I just, it's cold and dark outside. And like I said, I am just like, I need to be bundled up. And I haven't been on my computer in a while. And I feel like I was getting like some work emails and things that I need to tend to. Today's shoot was so fun. I cannot wait to see the result. Like I said, it's not really for social media. It's like for kind of like related to the live show content and just we wanted some video footage that we could have for the next year. So it's not really super tied to like a season or whatever. It's kind of just like evergreen video footage that we took and I'm really excited about it. I'm just so grateful for all of you. I said earlier that Danielle and I ran into so many people on the street that were just like, oh, like you're off or whatever. But we also met a lot of listeners. There was several people who walked by that were like, I'm listening right now. So thank you guys so much for being the best community ever. I need to get a spoon. Chopsticks would be best. These pajamas are so cute. They came in a bunch of other colors too. So I will have to link them for you. I'm so into pajama sets. They're just like the only way I'm on right now. So like I said, I've ordered, I've gotten this place before. There's only like three seats in the whole place. Not actually, there's like 10. It seriously fills up so quick. Then there's like a huge takeout line. And I feel like they don't even do delivery all the time. They just probably did it because it's literally five o'clock. Like it's still pretty early. Oh my God, it's so good. I got like the vegetarian one and it's truffly. Highly suggest. Wow. Oh, warm soup. I needed you. Hey, good morning. I just finished this book and I did not like it. I gave it a three out of five. It just, I, I, there were parts of it that I was like, oh, this is pretty good. Majority of it was boring and like really discouraged me from picking it up. I feel like that's why it took me so long to get through because I just didn't really like it. 
I think like the message is good, just not not it for me. So next I'm gonna read The Housemaid because my mom read it and she said it was a good thriller. So I feel like I just need a good, exciting read. I am going to see Dr. Jody in a little bit today. She does my Botox under eye filler. I think I'm only getting like a little bit, just a little touch up kind of before the holidays and like through the new year. I don't really need too, too much right now. And she gives me some skincare products too. She's been helping me with my skin and the spiral act tone of it all that I talked about in this video. So I do like to go see her um, and check in. I'm gonna put this in my bag for today. I wasn't gonna vlog into today, but I realized that the vlog was a little short and I don't wanna do that to you guys, so I will. And then we're gonna come back here. I have some meetings and things. So busy meetings. And then I'm going on a podcast at three o'clock. I really wanted to go grocery shopping today too. <laughs> Thank you for saying that. So maybe we'll get to that today. We'll see. I'm about to walk in and I did just see back there a few streets back. They were filming for Sex in the City. The flyers said NCP on them, and I looked it up, and that is Sex in the City, so I'm gonna go walk by after. Let's go. The park is right there. It's so pretty up here. This is the vans for Sex in the City. Let's see if we can see anyone. Now I'm gonna go to Joe and the Juice, because there's one up here, and get a tuna cotto, because I always hear people talking about this sandwich, and I'm hungry. So I don't really show the needles and stuff because I feel like I've shown it before and people get upset because not everybody, of course, but like, you know, trigger warning needles and all that stuff. So um, I just got under eye filler today. So she did a few little dots and fills it up. I love the way it turns out. It's So it's done. It's just a little bruised, um, but it basically just my eyes, I have like hollow dark circles and it fills it in in a way that it makes it more puffy. People have mixed opinions on eye filler, you know, but I like the way it looks on my face personally i'm very happy with it i'm drinking this is like cucumber apple and something else i was just like hey what's your favorite green juice and this is what the guy gave me it's good it's like really sweet and then i got the tunicato and i looked it up in the there's like a pesto in it but the pesto doesn't have nuts oh that is delicious oh my god i'm reporting live your two favorite pizza bagels <laughs> Brooke was on burning in hell and she lit it up that was so fun. What a great convo. It's so much fun. We toasted the bagels. We ate the pizza. We did pepperoni on top. Ralph's. <laughs> that was so fun and so good. I'm obsessed with Hannah. She's just the best. I followed her for a while and that was just such a good recording. So I recorded for her podcast, Burning in Hell. I loved my whole outfit. I wore like such a cute fit. And then I realized that the sweater is kind of frumpy. Like it's a really super cute sweater, especially in person, but on the recording, I hope it doesn't look too frumpy. Anyways, I stopped at Trader Joe's on the way home, but I kind of flopped. I didn't really get the best stuff. I mean, I did get great stuff, like these gorgeous flowers. I got some good stuff, but I didn't get like meals. You know, I just kind of, I was walking home and I was like, oh, Trader Joe's, I'll just stop in. But I should have planned better. That was my fault. Also, Hannah was giving me like, I feel like I should save these. These are like nice. I don't know what I'll put them in, but something else. Hannah was also giving me like advice for the Gals on the Go live show because I know that she does a lot of, well, she does like stand up and a bunch of stuff. The show is not stand up, but she does shows with Paige for Giggly Squad. So I was asking her questions just about like that. And that experience and she was so helpful and so nice like very much so giving big sister energy and i really haven't had that in a while so i really really appreciated it she basically was just calming all of my nerves i'm not even like nervous it's just when, whenever you go into anything new you're kind of like okay like let's try this out and see how this thing goes so that's how i feel about it and she was just like really hyping me up and being so so nice hopefully we can do something um else together in the future or at the least we need to have her on gals on the go now yeah so i just got some stuff i'm gonna like be able to make like a quick dinner with i think i don't know i kind of have computer stuff to do it's six o'clock where did the day go we're actually moving out of the gals on the go office tomorrow so i do need to do some stuff related to that because now it's supposed to rain tomorrow and i'm like mm, that's kind of stressful because we're supposed to be moving out tomorrow and everything's supposed to be loaded into a truck Trucks are open. What do I do with the rain? Gorgeous flowers. I really like like bright colored roses. I just think that they're so fun and so happy. Like this like corally pink color just, it brings me immense joy. Now that that's over with, we can finally, finally get to the Trader Joe's haul. It's not much. It's not much work, but it's honest work. This was, I saw it at the end, like on an end cap or something. I was like, oof, that sounds good. I am hosting a secret Santa at my house next week. I know I'm definitely gonna make a cheese board for that. So I got some cheeses and stuff for that. 
if I end up eating them sooner, like if I like this weekend or something, that's fine. I could just get more, but I figured I would get them now while I saw them. So I got Unexpected Cheddar, Manchego, and this Double Cream Brie with Truffles. You'll notice the theme of truffles throughout this. I got a lot of truffly stuff. I think it's truffle season. Then I got this pack of meats. So that is like the ingredients for cheese board for next week. I need to get a gift for that. It's actually not a Secret Santa. That's a white elephant. I don't think I've ever done a like proper white elephant now that I think about it. We do them with my family. Okay, so we do it with my family, we do. But this one's like with my girlfriend, so I feel like I could get a little silly with the gifts, you know? These they like never have in stock, so I know that I went overboard because I got two containers of them, but I love them. And like I said, I don't think that they'll be, like I think that by next week they'll be sold out. This is just how it goes every year. So I got two things of potato pancakes, latkes, whatever. Love them. I've had this before. It's like a flatbread maybe i'll have this for dinner it's like a truffly flatbread but it's like the bread is like pretty thin and light which i like it gets nice and crunchy and delicious i got more whipped cream for my coffee my espresso officially comes tomorrow couldn't be more happy about that also got string cheese for myself and japanese style fried rice yum i normally am not a fruit girl but for some reason this was calling my name and i had a sweet tooth last night so mango chunks sounded pretty good on the theme of truffle i don't even have chips for this now that i think about it but i got truffle dip i heard that this on a flatbread is really good i was watching a bunch of tara michelle's vlogs and she was raving about that so that's everything i need to put it all away and i need to call my parents because i need to make a plan for tomorrow this pizza is amazing you need it <laughs> 